Alright, hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video for Tower of Fantasy. My name is Vinus SGA. What's good with you? Alright guys, in this Tower of Fantasy video guide, I'm going to be breaking down Ling Han. I've used the character for a couple of hours now after I've got her. I got the character A1. I've used her for a little bit at A0. So I just wanted to make this video and let you know all the things that I found out about the character. Stuff that you might want to know. Stuff that you're maybe you're undecided on whether or not you want to get the character. And maybe something in this video can like decide you either way. You want to skip it or you do want to get it. Alright, so really quickly before I get into everything that I found out about Ling Han to break it down for you. Do me a favor, if you are new here, please sub to the channel and turn those notifications on so you don't miss an upload. I upload a lot of Tower Fantasy videos and then I do live stream pretty much almost every day, almost sometimes every night. I do Overwatch at night sometimes, so if you're interested in watching that, that's cool. If not, that's cool too, but I do try to do these Tower Fantasy streams. I try to do like an upload and then a Tower Fantasy stream a day. That always doesn't work. So just turn notifications on so you know whenever I'm uploading or when I am live. And also, if you have a question, Question about Ling Han or anything else Tower of Fantasy related, be sure to drop those down in the comments and I will be, uh, I'll try my best to answer. And if I don't answer, somebody else who knows the information will probably answer. And if I do know the answer and I need to make a video about it, I will make the video and then credit you in the video. All right, so let's get right into everything you need to know about Ling Han. All right, guys, so how I'm going to break this video down is in questions that I myself have asked myself if I was trying to figure out about Ling Han and things that I want to know if I watch someone's YouTube video. I want to know these most important things, like five or six things. So I'm going to break it down in questions, and let's get started with question one. And question one that I asked myself is this. What's Ling Han's best attack? Like, what's so good about her? I mean, everybody knows the flying thing is really cool, and don't get me wrong, the flying thing is really neat, but she has this one really, really cool ability that reminds you of Mimi and it's called uh, Endless Snow. And it says, while using normal attack on the ground, tap and hold normal attack to trigger sword art Endless Snow. Use mind control to manipulate the snow while consuming endurance, during which the Wanderer gains hyper body. Every attack that lands deals uh, dam deals damage equal to 140.8% of attack plus 622 to nearby targets. When Sword Art Endless Snow ends, release a powerful Sword Aura dealing damage equal to 422.4% of attack plus 1,866 to nearby targets. So Sword Art Endless Snow, take a look at it. So I'm just going to press normal attack and then hold the button down. And then just keep walking, and I'm going to target this thing right in front of me. At least I want to target that thing right in front of me with the shield. There it goes. So I'm just holding the button down. I'm not doing any extra presses. And you just hold that button down, and you just do, like, endless attacks. Like, it just keeps going as long as you have endurance. And then once you end it, what's really cool is you have this shockwave that sort of goes out out of the sword. So, like, a final attack. Let's see if I can use it on something else that's pretty big. I want to show you the shockwave attack, actually. All right, here we go. Here's a uh, big guy right here. He won't automatically die so here it is that shockwave that kind of went out yeah you see that yeah that's a pretty big burst attack i like that little burst attack that he's got right there another thing that's really cool about ling han is her skill it's called sword art shadowy ice without reading all of this because i'm pretty sure that's going to be boring to you she does a lot of damage but the thing that's really cool about it is when you do that skill around enemies it draws them all in and it freezes them so watch this see if it does does it you see how they're frozen right now? That's so cool. And I just use Fiona and freeze them in place some more. Like, I don't know. I just think that ability is just super cool. I was doing one of the joint ops solo. If you haven't checked out those joint op videos, I was just using different teams for the joint op. No commentary. It would just go up to different groups, different mobs. And I just hit her skill and they would just freeze. And then I could just destroy them. So, I don't know. It's, it's just a really cool survivability like trick or technique to where you don't get attacked. And you can just keep attacking. So, that's really cool for DPS to be able to do that. To immobilize her targets and then attack them. All right, so the second thing that I probably want to know is what her awakening does and if it's any good. Because there are a few characters that I have on my teams that just have super good awakenings. And it's like no other characters have really good awakenings that make me want to use their awakening, another awakening over their awakening. But the awakening for her is actually ridiculous. And with the event that's going on right now, they gave you all the stuff that you need. At least I got all the stuff that I need to awaken her right away. All right, so the first awakening, it says overwatching blade, which is pretty cool. Increase final damage by 13%. When Alabaster Tiger is equipped for every one frost weapon equipped, increase frost damage by 1%. So that's pretty cool. Um, but the real one, the really good one, is this one right here. It's called Governing Blade. And listen to this. I mean, that's a lot, and I'm going to read it. So, And it, it's good, so listen to this. Increase final damage by 18%. When Alabaster Tiger is equipped, gain damage immunity for 4 seconds. When using Sword Art Icy Beckon, 
for every one frost weapon equipped increased frost damage by 2.5 percent when three frost weapons are equipped gain additional 350 weapon charge after you the wanderer not just just the wanderer after the wanderer so that means any weapon after the wanderer uses any frost skill after using any frost weapon skill or discharge other than alabaster tigers deal additional damage equal to 1456 of attack to nearby targets so brother that is so good that's why i think this character is made to use with yulon and i'll get into more of that later but the ability to get that weapon charge is so crazy so i'm going to equip three frost weapons right now and just show you what it looks like all right so i've got icarus yulon and Ling Han equipped, so watch this. I've got no weapon charge right now, so let's see how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw the skill, and that just gave me so much weapon charge. I'm gonna do Yulon, throw Yulon skill, give me some more weapon charge, and look, I've already got my discharge skill right now. So let's go ahead and use her discharge skill. That's so cool, I love her discharge. And then let's just use her skill, just boom. Everything over here is it's already dead, that's crazy super crazy i killed everything is there one more left oh here's one over here all right so i'll just uh go back and use yulon's discharge or use on yulon's skill again and i got discharge again this is ridiculous the bounce between yulon and ling han is ridiculous because if you use sweeping force yulon you get instant discharge and then you use yulon's skill you have uh, more discharge because of Ling Han and then you can just bounce back and forth I mean it's crazy I don't know it's just really good discharge all right so the third thing I want to know is what are the weapons should you use with her for solo play so if you are like me in a lot of the time majority of the time you play by yourself what weapons should you use with her solo all right so um I have down here if you have a3 Yulon use her for the heals and you can equip another frost dps like icarus or maybe frig if you have that if you don't have icarus or don't want to use icarus or whatever like that um but if you are like me and you don't have a3 yulon and if you don't know what's so good about a3 yulon i know some people just they just don't know so i'll just let you know a3 yulon is how you survive when you have this team because if you have an all dps team in this game with no heals you pretty much know that you're going to die at some point in time so a3 yulon says in the martial artist form if internal strength is not obtained within five seconds the next act acquisition of internal strength will grant two counts in any form when unity that's the weapon consumes three or more internal strength or fighting spirit restore 10 percent of the wanderer's max hp in solo play the hp recovery is increased to 20 percent this effect can only be triggered one time every eight seconds and sweeping force form in the martial arts form there are no limits i think the a5 yeah the a5 of yulon is really good too after unity consumes internal strength for fighting or fighting spirit when receiving lethal damage prevent lethal damage one time and recover 20 percent of the wanderer's max hp in solo play the hp recovery is increased to 40 percent both effects can only trigger one time every 60 seconds so i mean like if i was telling you like if what to pull on and how to pull on these banners i would definitely say you could you could stand to get ling han a zero and be okay and then focus the rest of your efforts on getting a three or a five yulon or if you want you could get a one ling han because a one ling han just gives you a little bit more dps and i'll talk about that in just a second but it's it's you still going to do good dps at a zero i think i think that the most important thing if you're going to do a frost team right now is to get that a3 a5 yulon that's the most important thing but you definitely have to have at least at least a zero of ling han at least a zero of ling han but if you don't have a3 yulon you're gonna need something to heal and i think that the only other option is coco ritter because you're gonna want to have those three frost dps once you are three frost weapons once you awaken her so i think just uh coco ritter i've got my coco ritter at 120 and i think it works fine you don't have to max out your coco ritter you don't have to have your coco ritter at like super super high advancements i mean the heals is enough all you need is something to provide you just a little bit of heals because the damage is just actually insane and the ability to go to like hyper armor to like ignore attacks and stuff like that when you're doing discharges i mean it's just if you time everything right and you have like the right rotations down you can pretty much avoid damage but you're going to take some there's just no if ands or buts about it and you're going to need something that's going to be able to keep you alive when you are playing solo so i think if you don't have a really good advancement of yulon like a3 i think this is probably going to be the team for you yulon with coco ritter 
and Linghan. That's probably going to be it. I'm, if you want to do a full Frost team. I mean, obviously, Fiona is a really good substitution for Coco Ritter as well. But I think everybody pretty much has Coco Ritter. So I think that's the team. That's going to be like most people's team. Now, this next question is sort of a doozy, right? And I think I'm going to have to make, like, a separate video on this, but I'll just give you, like, my, like, early, like, takes on it. And then down in the comments, if there are people who are, like, Gosu at the game and they want to give their takes as well, I would love to hear that. And I'm pretty sure everybody would like to hear it. So definitely go in the comments, if only, to look for this information. And that is what matrices, what weapon chips are good on Linghan. And I mean, I think it goes more... And that's why I say I got to make a whole video on this. I think it goes more than just Linghan. You have to incorporate all of your weapons with the weapon chips that go to make this weapon like really good. I mean, the weapon's going to be really good. The team's going to be really good. But these weapon chips really just make the difference. So right now, looking at my Linghan, I am using a two-piece Saki. Two-piece Saki is actually really, really freaking good. Let me see if I can pull it up here and read it for you. Okay, it says... Uh, when Frost Resonance gets triggered, that's when you use two or more ice weapons. Every three seconds, deal Frost Damage equal to 65% of Frost Attack to enemies within a 6 meter radius and apply the Ice Frost Effect. Inflict 5% slow effect that lasts for 3.5 seconds. Freeze targets for 3 seconds after 3 stacks does not apply to bosses. And increase Frost Damage taken by the targets by 5% for 18 seconds. This matrix effect is also active in the offhand slot, but only the set with the highest star rating will take effect. So once I saw that, I already had one Saki, and I just used my uh, whatever boxes to get the other one. And I'm not disappointed with this. I think this is a really good set to use. The four-piece set, I don't have it, but I'll read it. It says, attack the target 10 times to inflict a 12-second flash freeze mark. Flash freeze, increased frost damage dealt to the marked target for 11%. This matrix effect is also active in the offhand slot, but only the set with the highest star rating will take effect. So that's actually really, really good. Um, another, and also um, with that, I use two-piece Shiro. I mean, two-piece Shiro is pretty much standard with DPS. Increased both damage and shatter targets with more than 50% HP by 15%. If I wasn't using two-piece Shiro, I would use two-piece Saki and probably a two-piece Samir. Increased damage progressively by 1% upon hitting a target. Stack up to 10 times. Times, last 1.5 seconds and then also too i mean this might be a hot take but i mean of course crow because you know crow's like with the crit damage but this might be a hot take though two piece huma hitting targets with dodge skills inflicts bleed dealing damage equal to 15 percent of attack every second for five seconds so i really like her dodge skill like i don't know what it is about her dodge skills like she's got some really cool ones the first dodge skill it's okay i i, I feel like it's okay but this one where she throws a tiger out I just love seeing the animation. So whenever I'm fighting, I will incorporate that backwards dodge just to see that tiger go out. And if I do that, just because of my playstyle, and I get to inflict bleed, giving them damage over time, I mean, that's more DPS per second, right? And that's what this character is all about, just DPS. So I don't know. I would use Huma. Um, uh, other weapon chips to consider... I mean, I don't have all of them, so I can't really tell you about all of them. But the ones that I do have, I can tell you about other weapon chips. Um, so... This one's sort of like a, a diamond in the rough, two-piece cobalt, increased damage against debuff targets by 14%. So you're slowing your targets all the time with this weapon. So they are debuffed and they're going to get slowed. Um, another one that I'd like to use is probably like a two-piece crow. You, upon using discharge skill to switch to the current weapon, gain a shield equal to 150%. So this is like a survivability tactic for me because I don't have A3 Ulan and I need all the survivability as possible that I can get. So a lot of my weapons um, will actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what I had on her, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I didn't have like my Fiona equipped, I was doing a two-piece. Um, I always put the two-piece two piece zero on my support weapon so whenever i switch to the support weapon i get this the the protection so i can use the support skills and then if i have another two piece which i do i'll probably use it on a weapon you know put it on yulon maybe no i probably wouldn't put it on i probably would put it on this but i would probably put it on one of these two weapons so i have two shields going back to back because i have a four piece set zero Um, another chip set that's really good too is two piece frig increased frost attack by eight percent for 10 seconds when switching between frost weapons because you're always going to be switching between frost weapons because you're using three frost weapons um this set effect works in the offhand slot but only the set with the highest star rating will take effect uh, that's a really good set what does the four piece set say i know i don't have the four piece set but i'll try to pull it up so i can read it 
Uh, when unleashing a Frost Domain with the weapon Balmung, enemies within the Frost Domain receive Frost Damage equal to 55%. So that's something that you have to use um, Frig for. And a lot of people may be asking, like, is Frig really good right now? I have to test it out. People are going to tell you, no, don't use Frig. But I still think Frig has potential with this team because of her Frost Domain and be able to increase Frost Damage. So once I test it, I'll definitely let you know I'll make a full video on it. Um, but other than that, man, I don't think any other weapon chips, I mean, just standard DPS stuff, um, Claudia might be good, increase damage by 13% when hitting a target in midair or initiate an air attack, reset double jump upon hitting the target in midair. That could be good because a lot of times I find that whenever I am using um, Ling Han, I'm, I'm attacking in the air. Like, I'm in the air attacking. I know that wastes stamina, but I don't know why, but I'm just usually in the air attacking. So that might be a good thing, too. All right, so the next question that I want to answer is, does she need to be A1 to be good? All right. Um, and I have down here that I wrote in my notes, not really. A1 is fine, but you get a bit more DPS with A1. You get 10% frost attack increase and nearby target damage every second for 30 seconds. So once I read that, the A1, I was like, okay, that's cool. I feel like that's a really good A1 for them to have. Like, I feel like these advancements with this game, they want to sort of like like feed you like like spoon feed you a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more and i think this is a perfect um spoon feed it says um frost blades the wanderers frost attack is increased by 10 percent and nearby targets will be dealt damage equal to 80 percent of attack every second for 30 seconds and that's kind of like i don't know it might be like a flaw of this character and tell me what you think about it down in the comments but this is an aggro character you can't walk around with this weapon in the open world because everything that you get near like normal targets if you're using just coco ritter or just any other weapon and you're walking near it you won't attract its attention but when you have this weapon equipped for whatever reason her aura it just attacks everything she is the aggro queen so um i don't know i i guess you know you get a little bit more DPS at A1. I feel like that is a lot, but it's on nearby targets, so it doesn't really focus on your main target. So, I mean, A1 is okay, but I think you can skip A1 if you want to go straight for that Yulon, which I am. If you don't have a whole lot to spend and you want a good team, I think you get A A0, you get at least one copy of Ling Han, and then you focus all your efforts toward A3 Yulon. And I, I'm just going to keep preaching that. I mean, and her other stuff, bro, like I... I'm not going to sit here and read all that. I'm just going to say that she is probably a god at A6. Everybody that I've talked to says that she is she is a goddess at A6. Um, another thing that I would want answered is, is she a better DPS than Yulon? In the notes I have here, it says, uh, more DPS from Ling Han, but more utility from Yulon. Yulon is a better unit because of all the things that Yulon can do. Martial artist form, sweeping force form, the discharge skill. I feel like... There's a lot that Yulon has to offer, her advancements, the, you know, damage immunity, the, the the healing. I feel like she's a better unit. Is she a better DPS, though? DPS stands for literally damage per second. I just don't think she's a better DPS, but I do think overall Yulon is a better unit. But as, in terms of damage, I don't think I don't think Yulon is touching, touching her damage because this chick is just damage. She is the Archon of damage. Another question is, does she work well with Yulon? And what I have here for that is, it's not an an either it's not an either or. I think these two characters were made to work together, and I say that you know because look at what Yulon can do. Is this a what is he's got a shield up? Look what Yulon can do. Yulon, whenever Yulon uses her her discharge, you get an extra discharge. Whenever you use Ling Han, you use have her equipped in her awakening you get more discharge and they both i mean they make it pretty self-explanatory they both use this white tiger i think the white tiger's name is bayou or something like that they both use that tiger so it looks like it just to me it just says that let's just put this tiger on there let everybody know that these two characters are meant to be made together um i think she works well with yulon i think she is a perfect like compliment to yulon I almost feel like in some respects, Yulon should have been like a support character, but it's a DPS. So Yulon, this character, they absolutely work well together and you 1000%. You don't need them together, but you should definitely have them together on the same team. Um, another thing is, does she need Frost units to be good? And there's just no way around it. To be good? I don't know. I think the unit is good regardless. But if you have her Awakening... You have to have two other Frost units to get the full benefits of the Awakening. And that is amazing. Like, I don't want good to be the baseline, but it sort of is. 
but she's just amazing with three frost weapons. So, I mean, you don't need to. I, w I did join ops, the uh, highest join op that I can do using Mimi and um, what other weapon that I have, Fiona. And I did the join op just fine. Like, she works really good as just the DPS of the team. Like, if you want to run a team of a, a tank and a support character and you don't necessarily have to, you know, have the you know frost units or whatever like that, she does good at her role. She's a DPS. That's what she's supposed to do. They made her like that. They, they, they really... Listen, if I'm being honest with you... Um, looking at it from a business standpoint from Tower Fantasy, they made this unit to push sales. They really did. They made this unit to push sales. I don't know if it was because Faisa did super bad, but regardless of what you do with this character, this character is going to be good no matter what. You don't have to have Frost units. This character is just going to be good, and they did that on purpose so it can push sales. So yeah, this is probably going to be the best DPS in the game right now, in my opinion. And then the uh, final thing is, like I just said, can I use her on any team? And I kind of just, I kind of just answer that. I think yeah, you can use her on any team. It doesn't really matter. You don't ne necessarily need to have a frost team. She's super good, just standalone. You know, yeah, it just whatever. If you want to run two tanks and have super defense, like uh, eventually I'm gonna make a video where I use Saki and Meryl because I just got Meryl, one of my favorite units in the game. Um, no special reason. I just like Meryl. You know, and I'm going to see how she works with two tanks and with the uh, Fortitude Resonance or Fortitude, whatever, and see how well she goes as a DPS there. But I think that uh, she's a really good, cool unit to use, and I definitely think everybody should get her, and uh, that's it. All right, so that's the breakdown, man. If you have any questions about this, something that I didn't answer that you wanted to answer, let me know down in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it. Sorry the video was super long. I tried to shorten it, but it is what it is. I had to give you my full breakdown of the character. All right, so thank you guys for watching. And uh, come back to my channel and check out some of the videos I upload every day. YouTube is my full-time job. And if you don't get a notification if that I uploaded something, that's because YouTube is jank. But rest assured that I upload to this channel every single day. So come on to the channel and check and see if I uploaded something. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash VSN social. I always post all of my videos that I upload on Twitter so you don't miss an upload. All right, guys. Peace out.